He's here. The new character Dainslev is finally coming to Genshin Impact, and although we knew of his existence for a few years, the wait has come to an end. Before we take a look at his materials and skills, I just want to mention that you have to complete the entire story of the game to be able to farm his materials. This is not okay. A new discussion topic has recently popped up on the internet. Is Genshin beginner friendly? And to answer the question, I suggest we take a look on how new players started their journey when the game came out. Several weeks prior to Genshin Impact's release, it had been advertised on YouTube and in advertisements throughout various cities. For its successful launch, all players received a few gifts to spend on the gacha to pick up a few of the present characters. All there was was a region to explore, a story to unfold and characters to build. And later, they added events and new areas in such a pace that everyone that started playing the game early and often is definitely on the end game side of the player base. So what about now? When you start playing Genshin again from the beginning, it is pretty much the same as back then, without as many primogems of course. Everyone gets the standard 4 star characters. Amber, Kaya, Lisa, Barbara and eventually Jungling. But let's not forget Noel on the discount banner. The new events are now unfortunately taking place mostly in Inazuma and the character banner has been added since then. So when a new player picks up, let's say Ayato, he has to play through so much content to finally get his materials, which makes him pretty much useless for the time being. So what should the player do? Should he use his existing characters, taking his time, learning the mechanics of the game, exploring the map in his own pace, or speed through the content and story to be finally able to build his Ayato? So here is a question. How long does it take to complete the current existing story and unlock all maps? Well, it obviously depends on the player. But for all the Inazuma Archon quests, you have to meet the requirement of Adventure Rank 30. You can certainly reach the requirement in just one day, as YouTuber and streamer Sekapoko did, but the average player doesn't have as much time or energy to pull this off. So in my opinion, you might be able to unlock all the necessary things within one or two weeks, even half the time if you are speedrunning through the content. But is it worth doing all this for just one character? Doesn't the game get more difficult when the world level outpaces you? Doesn't it ruin your experience of the game? For most of the players, what makes this game amazing on its own is not just a specific 5 star character that they got early on in the game. It is the world of Teyvat and its stories that makes them want to continue to play the game and of which even I have the most memories of, not my party I had at that time. And I think this fact isn't going to change much for new players. Yes, it is unfortunate if you get the latest characters, but the game's difficulty is so easy, you can use any character you want to play the game. But having so much luck getting a 5 star on the character banner and then being forced to put that one aside for quite some time is definitely worse than you might think. And when looking into the future, with the current path we are on, this problem is still going to persist. Let's hope it's not gonna be the case. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.